Tens of thousands gathered at the National Mall in Washington yesterday for a rally in support of Israel and against the anti-Semitism that has erupted in the U.S. since the beginning of the war between Israel and Hamas. Among the marchers was Miriam Feist, CEO of the Jewish Federation of Northeast Florida. She joins me live via Zoom from the nation's capital. Good morning. Good morning. So, Miriam, there were a number of messages echoed at that rally. Which reson resonated most with you? Well, there, th there were three messages, and each resonated. The first was to demand the release of the estimated 240 uh, uh, hostages. The second was to combat the rise of anti-Semitism, not just here in the United States, but worldwide. And the third was to show our support of the Biden administration and the senators and congressmen and government officials who've been supporting Israel's right to defend itself. But we had to strongly urge them to continue that support. There was also a familiar theme that echoed at the rally, let our people go. And families of hostages kidnapped by Hamas gave heart-wrenching details about the slaughter on October 7th and demanding the release, as you said, of the hostages, but also expressing sympathy for the innocent Palestinian civilians who are suffering during the conflict. Do you think too many people in the world don't understand you don't have to choose to share in the anguish of both? And that message was clear at the rally? Absolutely, because this is not about um, the what's happening normally in the Middle East. This is about a terrorist attack that happened on October 7th. These Hamas is a terrorist organization. They control Gaza and they control the Palestinians who live there. Um, and this is a fight against a terrorist organization. And this is a fight for democracy and for freedom, not just in the Middle East, but worldwide and in the United States. Israeli President Isaac Herzog addressed the crowd through a live video feed. And despite the thousands of miles separating everybody, Herzog told demonstrators they are united to march for the babies, the boys and girls, women and men, viciously held hostage by Hamas, to march for the right of every Jew to live proudly and safely in America, in Israel and around the world. And with the rise in anti-Semitism in America, do you worry that that right is threatened? <laughs> yes, I mean... The rise of anti-Semitism, especially on our college campuses and worldwide, is making the Jewish community in fearful, uh, angry, feeling isolated and alone. And so we need to combat this form of hatred and we need to do it collectively, Jews and non-Jews alike. Why was it important for you to be there? I was there in 1989 when we had our first march for Let Our People Go, and we saw its transformational difference. Um, and I felt it important that we were making history again. Over 290,000 people, uh, Jews, non-Jews, Christians, Muslims, black, white, all on the mall, peacefully, uh, marching and rallying, and uh, that's part of history, and it's something that I want to demonstrate to my family, to my neighbors, and to my community, that collectively uh, we make a difference, and we can do it in a civil and impactful way. Mariam Feist, thank you very much. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much.